There are four specific changes in the parking laws that the City of Columbus Department of Public Service would like residents to be aware of. As our city continues to grow and develop, which is just an absolutely fantastic thing for the city, there's obviously going to be parking pressures. These new code changes are a way to modernize our parking system. We want to make sure that through, uh, through active enforcement, as well as these new codes, that we can provide turnover and access to businesses and residents. And, and you'll see through new projects throughout the year, whether it's the Short North Parking Plan, or as we look into other districts of the city, we're always aiming to make sure that people have access as Columbus continues to grow and develop. Number one, overtime parking. When parking on the street, motorists should make sure to pay attention to the posted time restrictions. If your vehicle stays longer than the allotted time or does not move at least 75 feet, it will be subject to a $30 fine. Number two, individual parking spaces. Motorists should pay close attention to parking space markers when parking on a public street. A parking space may be marked by a parking meter, sign, or pavement marking. Motorists who fail to park within the boundaries of a parking space may be subjected to a $47 ticket. Number three, the 72-hour rule. No vehicle may remain parked on a city street for more than 72 consecutive hours. If the vehicle remains in the same location and is not moved more than 75 feet, it will be in violation and subject to a $30 ticket. Enforcement is typically complaint-driven. The intent is to crack down on the long-term abandonment of cars on city streets. Number four, failure to display. For designated handicapped parking spaces on public streets, motorists are required to display their handicapped parking placard or have handicapped license plates when parking in a handicapped space. Failure to do this could result in two tickets. For failure to display, the vehicle could be ticketed $50. And for illegal parking in a marked handicapped space, the vehicle will be subject to a separate $500 fine. Motorists, follow these simple rules and stay worry-free about receiving a parking ticket. Questions? Please contact the Parking Services Division by visiting our website on the Department of Public Services page or you can reach the division by emailing a question to parkingservices at columbus.gov.